Well, why can't you help me? You've been working late a lot. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. No, I, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. You've been working late a lot, and I, I do like the money. I do. I do. I just. No, okay, well, before you come home, you stop by the pump and munch and you fill that car up. You understand? No, I don't need you to pick me up. No, I got a ride, but I just need you to fill the car up. I'm, I'm sick and tired of going out there and the thing's on empty and I have to go fill it up again. And you're making all this money and they're making you, making you go deliver stuff. They need to be giving you gas money or something to compensate. I, no, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I, you know how I feel. No, I don't mind cashing the checks. And can we just not talk about this right now? Look, I got a customer. I need I need to get back to work. Now, okay, well, it would be nice if you would help me with the auction. I, we have to get set up. It's tomorrow. I asked you about it. You can't do anything with a man. Nothing. Um. No, don't worry about no. Brittany and Amber Lynn will help me because you won't. No, I know, I know. I, all right, well, stop and get some gas before you come home. Okay, I'll see you tonight. Okay, bye. Oh, have mercy. Hey, have a seat. Isn't that cute? Look at that little holiday print on that, that little cushion there. Isn't it cute? It's got little snowflakes on it. And if you look at it from the side, you can kind of see it sparkles a little bit. It has a little bit of metallic thread running through it. Isn't it cute? Yeah, I did that myself. I did. I learned how on TikTok. I watched a video and I covered that cushion myself. And it had ugly corduroy on it and it was just sad. But look at it now. And I can recover it for every holiday because now that I know how to do it, I could just do it for New Year's or Valentine's Day. I could put a little, get like some velvet with hearts. Put that on there. Mm. Well, thank you. It's so simple. All you need is like a staple gun and some fabric. There's nothing to it, actually. It's very easy. But, you know, if I can do it, it's got to be simple. Well, no, have a seat. Have a seat. You go on to sit down on it. It's, it's really soft. I took all the stuffing out of it, and I put memory foam in there. Isn't that nice? It's so comforting to your butt. Isn't it cool? I love it. No, she's here. She's in the back. She's uh, we're, we're getting ready to do inventory after Christmas, and she's a little stressed out. So, yeah, I'm trying to be quiet. She's already snapped at me twice today, and I didn't do anything. Do you know how people just get cranky? And It's not the holidays. I mean, normally she's pretty happy around the holidays, but she's a little, a little crabby today. I, I tried to go get her a pimento cheese sandwich for lunch, and I'm like, get the, get the good pimento cheese, you know. And Oh, that wasn't good enough either. She said it upset her stomach. Now she's mad. She's distressed about inventory. She gets this way every year. Normally, we wait on over until, like, after Christmas to start thinking about it because we don't want it to ruin Christmas, but she wanted to get started early. I think she's a little sweet on that guy that comes in here and helps her out. There's, like, this company, and they hire people out, and they'll come help you with your uh, inventory stuff, and I think she's got a little crush on him, so she wants everything to look good before he gets here. And then I'm like, well, what's the point of having him here if you're going to have it perfect before he arrives? He's not going to have anything to do. And she said, well, then he can take me out for barbecue. I said, well played. You got a little plan there. I know it. Oh, no, she did, mm -mm. She broke up with a mailman months ago. Where have you been? Well, that's right. You had not been here since what? Halloween? God, we did those cool little nails with the little cats on them. How'd that go? Weren't you going to a party then, too? Oh, how'd that? They like them. That's good. Well, let me see what we're working with today. Come here. What, what, kind, of, what kind of thing you got going on now? Let me... You've been chewing on them nails again, haven't you? You can't fool me. I'm a professional. I am a professional nail technician, and I know chewed on nails when I see them. You're like a beaver with a tree. I mean, no offense. What have you done to your nails? Honey, you are never going to grow them out if you keep gnawing on them like that. Now, my stars. No, I can work with it. It's not too bad, but look, just be honest with me. What's been going on with your nails? You've been sticking them down in the garbage disposal. So it's kind of like when you go to the dentist, you know, and, and, and they ask you, have you been flossing? And you say, yes, and you know it's a lie, and they know it's a lie. 
And you know that they know it's a lie, but we all just pretend it isn't. And then they say, well, you just must have gums that bleed easily. <laughs> oh, that must be it. <laughs> you, knowing darn well you flossed that morning. You hadn't flossed since the last time you were there. It, it's just a secret that we all live with like an elephant in a room, you know. And But after a while, you have to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Now, it, it, you can get that stuff that you can brush on your nails to keep you from chewing on them. Have you thought about trying that? Well, you know, my, my daddy always said, you know, that, you know, the cure for uh, chap lips, chicken manure. He said, you smear some chicken manure on your lips, you ain't gonna lick them no more. <laughs> you put some chicken manure on your nose. I'm just kidding. Just try some of that bitter stuff. And Yeah, but, well, honey, I got fingernail clippers and I got a file, so I reckon we can do something with it. But, uh, so you have a Christmas party? Oh, that's exciting. Is it for work? Oh, I'm so sorry. When did you lose your job? Oh, honey, come here. Well, first of all, mm -mm, I can't do anything yet. You dip them down in this stuff right here. We need to get the rest of that nail polish off. You didn't nibble all that off. Just dip it down. I want you to. I want you to soak it in there. Get the one, and then dip it in this little bath here, and then you do your other one. Okay. You just go ahead and do that. Well, I am so sorry to hear that you lost your job. Oh my goodness. Why well, I hate to hear that. That's awful. Here, no, you can dip it in a little bath. Do the, it's, it's just like soapy water, but I keep it warm in this little container. You dip it in there, and then it wipe it on that towel. It's a clean towel. It, thank you. That's my little Christmas towels that I keep out. They're just like little fingertip towels. You can buy them at like big lots or wherever. It has a little sand embroidered on it. Yours has sand. Look, he's, he's ice skating. Isn't he cute? Did you know Santa could do that? I had no idea. Look at that. Okay, just, okay, now do the other one. Take that, mm-hmm, put it down in there. Do like that. Nice. Okay, let me see the first hand. That looks pretty good. Now do this one. Just do here. Okay, and then you do the bath there. So, you, so, um, I don't want to get too personal with you, but are you looking for another job? Oh, that's fantastic. That's amazing. Well, that's a quick turnaround. Congratulations. Well, so when, uh, well, if you don't have to start till the first of the year, that is that is that okay? I mean, like financially. Okay. Well, good. You get then you get Christmas off. You get just the rest of the month. That's wonderful. I'm really glad it worked out for you. So, how long did you work at the post office? Okay. That's I hadn't heard they were doing any kind of layoffs or anything. Oh, well, you only hit, what, like two or three people? I, I, that seems a little harsh. I mean, you know, it's hard to find rural mail carriers. And, I mean, you know, it seems like you should get to hit at least a couple every year. You know, it's dark out there. You can't see. Well, I hate that. Well, none of them died. I mean, it's like your keychain says, but did you die? No, I shouldn't be like that. Okay, wipe it on the towel. Okay. Yes, so you have, oh, is he still working over there at that furniture company? Oh, they do a swanky shindig for their Christmas party. I heard about that. Yet they even get to bring, they get to bring a spouse. Well, you, you know that, but, well, I, I bet that'll be a lot of fun. You know, they have like a live band. Do you dress up for that? Like, you know, it's kind of dressy, isn't it? It's, it's a whole thing. It's not like you just show up in your jeans. Like, you got to show up like, you know, dressed like something. Well, we got to make sure we have you looking good. We got we to gotta do you up right then. Oh, my gosh. Well, don't you worry. We're going to have you looking so good. What are you going to wear? Oh, that will look so good on you because you have those nice shoulders. You know, you do like a strap. Is it strapless? Oh, my gosh. So, do you have like a little, like a short jacket? Or, yeah, like a, what is it called? A bol bolero jacket? Like a crop little jacket? It's got rhinestones. You have to send me some pictures. I have to see this. Are you going to put them on Instagram or Facebook or anything? I have to see because that's going to be so pretty. So it's like black velvet strapless. How long is it? Okay, okay. You wearing heels? Oh, you're going to look so good. You're going to look so classy. Oh my gosh. Is Trish doing? 
Is Trish doing your hair? I don't want to say it too loud because if she, if she's not, I don't want to piss her off. And if she is, it might piss her off. I don't want her to get mad again. She's already mad about the pimento cheese sandwich. Okay, okay, nice. So, yeah, well, yes, yeah, stay in after. Okay, all right, that's wonderful. You get back to back appointments. That's really smart. Okay, so if you're doing a plain black velvet dress, I have picked out some stuff here that would be just perfect for that. And I wouldn't, I wasn't even aware of that till just now. See, our minds, we were working together. Yes, we were. So. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing fine. I'm doing a lot better than I was last time you saw me. I wasn't doing too well. Well, um, I I have I am involved in that. Yes, we're doing that charity auction for the children's hospital. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of helping. I'm not in charge, but I'm like, you know, kind of in not totally in charge. I'm like sort of in charge of you know talking to people in the community and getting them to donate stuff to go into the auction and i've had some good donations yes no he got a new job yeah jimmy's working yeah believe it or not he's had this job now for a whole month and he hadn't really like quit or gotten written up i know i'm so proud of him he's always been a little bit of a hot head you know that was the thing that always attracted me to him at first and you see him in that parking lot spinning out in his pickup truck because he got mad at the shop teacher i knew he was the one for me i was smitten from the start well, he's been working at this place. Um, well, it's, I mean, you've probably never heard of it. I, I don't want to, well, I'm not ashamed. I, I just, you, it's probably not some place you ever heard of. Why don't we just talk about your nails? It's not important. <laughs> okay, well, he's working at the Shady Scrap. You, well, I, I know I didn't want to say that because there are kind of rumors around town about it being something like a front. It's not. It's not. It's totally not. It is a completely legitimate business. And it's nothing to worry about. Oh, he's making such good money at the Shady Scrap. Oh, my word. And you won't believe this. You know who else got a job there? You won't believe it. Ain't Berlene. I know. I never thought I'd see her working anywhere like that. Maybe in like a Christian bookstore or the library. The Shady Scrap. Mm -hmm. But see, she said that the Lord led her in a Bible study to go get a job there. I think it was when she found out how much Jimmy was making. He's making really good money. Like the best he has ever made. Like I, you know, it's the kind of thing like... I mean, maybe it's fishy, but the money, it's kind of hard to walk away from that. And we really could use it. We need a new roof on the house. And, you know, Brittany's talking about going to college. And, I mean, yeah, well, no, she graduates in June. So, she's talking about going to college. I'm like, we can't afford that. You know, she's going to get loans or something. But Jimmy said, well, no, I, I have not a job opportunity. He said he was standing in line at the pumpkin munch the other day waiting to get a fried chicken biscuit. And this man behind him was going, psst, psst. And he thought maybe he had a tick or something. Like, what's wrong with you? And he said, hey, you looking for a job? And he said, yeah, how'd you know? He said, oh, I just had a feeling. Would you like to get a job making six figures? And he said, well, shoot, yeah. Well, he, he went on to clarify it wasn't six figures in a year. It might be six figures eventually. But still, he was interested. So he went down and he said, now you go down to the Shady Scrap and, and, and you talk to Annie. Just ask for Annie. It's not a person. It's a password. And apparently passwords are a big thing in the Shady Scrap. I don't know why. Apparently, there's like a whole world to car parts that I did not know about. So you go down there, and, and apparently, if you need different types of parts, you have to know what to say, because they come in, and so Jimmy works up front, mostly, and he makes these deliveries, and sometimes people need stuff in the middle of the night. I didn't know that many people worked on their cars at 3 o'clock in the morning to need, you know, like a rush delivery of something that he's not allowed to open. 
and and so he works up there and in like if you need certain things you have to ask for it in a certain way so jimmy's had to memorize all these passwords and that is part of what they said the pay was for is learning the passwords and not telling anybody what they are because it's a secret and I'm actually not supposed to be talking about it right now, but I trust you. I know you don't say anything to anybody, but he has to learn this whole list of passwords and it's written on a piece of paper. And then after he learns them, he has to eat the piece of paper. I said, why can't you just burn it? Put it through a shredder. They said, I literally have to eat it or I won't get paid. They'll know if I eat it or not. I said, they're not going to know if you eat a piece of paper. They don't follow you around all day. He said, how do you know? And then it just blew my mind because like I don't. Maybe they are. They might be looking at me right now. I don't know. But Aunt Merlene is working down there. She answers the phone, and she's had to learn all kinds of passwords. And then she'll try to talk to them about Bible verses, and that's when they hang up. But she tries to spread the gospel as she as she does deals. I don't know what she means by that, but she said she's doing deals. I said, I thought you were just answering the phone. She said, exactly. I don't know what that means either, but I don't understand about 39% of what she says, so it makes sense to me that I don't get it. So, financially, we're doing much better. We're going to be able to afford the new roof on the house. I got another vehicle, thank God. I have a 1997 Nissan Pathfinder. It, it, it makes a weird noise, and you have to start it with a spoon, but I mean, at least I have a way to get around. And Jimmy's driving a truck, and sometimes we have a Toyota Tercel that will run, but it really only seems to run like one day a week. It's it's hit and miss right now, and Brittany's having to take the bus, and she's mad about that because she said the bus stinks, and she doesn't like it, and I don't know what to tell you, honey. I think she wants to go to college to get away from us, quite frankly. I think she's tired of her mom and daddy. So... But I tell you, him getting this job at the Shady Scrap has made our marriage so much better because we don't have the stress on us all the time. And it's fantastic. So, anyway, we need to pick your color. Now, I'm going to do on you this Grip Lock Base Coat. Now, this stuff is fantastic. I'm going to put this on before we do anything else. Now, let me take a look at those cuticles here. Bring them up here. Oh, your cuticles don't look too bad. I'm going to put a little oil right here. And we're just going to massage it into the cuticles a little bit. Turn your finger this way. Yeah. Well, your cuticles look good. You might be nibbling on the nails, but the cuticles look beautiful. I can tell you've been moisturizing. Have you been using that oil that I've been telling you to use? Well, it's paying off because they look nice. They look really good. I know last time I saw you, they weren't looking too good. That's why I recommended that cuticle oil. I, I swear by it. I use it every day, especially in the winter. Okay. Here, let me see this. I'm on the file. You actually don't need a whole lot. We just file on them a little bit there. So, yeah, oh, things are going way better. Thank you for asking. Um, we're getting along a lot better than we were. Um, Therapy was definitely helpful. Jimmy has learned to open up more and not just instantly get mad and stomp off and go off and have a drink. So he's doing good. I'm doing good. Amberlynn's doing great. She was in a pageant for Miss Merry Christmas. Did you see her in the parade? She had her little dress on. It was so cute. She came in 10th place. Yeah, they do. And uh, and we had my, my mama put her in her car and ride her through the parade. One of Mama's fake boobies busted, so she's been in the hospital. She says she had a flat tire. <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. She just had a busted boobie. Well, she got those fake boobs, you know, a while back. I don't know. She said it made her feel young. I said, you feeling young now? She said, I feel like one of my pool floats busted. I'm kind of depressed. But she'll be home by Christmas, so it's all right. Yes. Everything's good. Everything's good at home. I tell you what. Oh, Rhonda. Rhonda's good. She's got arthritis in her knees, though. She is a little young for that, for a cow. You know, typically they don't have problems like that at her age, but apparently she's got a lot of stress on her because we live in a suburban environment, and she'd be happier in the countryside. I've been in talks with somebody on a farm to maybe at least find a place to take her part-time so she can be with other cows and and her one of her babies is out there and maybe she could 
have a little bit more peace than living in the suburbs with us. But I hate to part with her. And it's so far away, I wouldn't get to see her that much. And I'd be depressed. But after a while, you have to stop and think what's good for the cow, not just what you want. you got to look out for your cow. You can't just think about your own selfish, selfish pursuits. I'm trying to learn to be more self selfless, not selfish. That That's not something to strive for. I want to be selfless. That right, selfless. That makes it sound like there's nothing to you, like a zombie or something. There's no self. Uh, I don't know. All right. That looks good. Now, let me, um, I'm going to apply this, and then while this dries, it dries super fast. I'm going to get you to look at some colors. Now, this is from Core Kerr. I don't know. Leave it up to fancy people to know how to pronounce it. This is a really good base coat. It works with any nail polish, and it's going to hold on tight. It's, there's really no odor to it at all. Turn the nail this way a little bit. Just hold still. Can you slide your hand up just a little bit? Thank you. Nice. Okay. Aunt Berlene's going to be stopping by in a little bit. Um... Ain't Betty already stopped by. Bless her, bless her. Oh, Ain't Betty. No, she's she's fine. Well, no, she had to miss church. No, she well, she had that gout. You know, she's got that. I don't I don't understand quite what gout is. But apparently it's bad. Well, she had gout and she said, Don't tell anybody. I said, Ain't Betty, what does it matter? She said, I don't want anybody knowing I have that. I said, why? I mean, it's not like amoebic dysentery, is it? She said, no, it's just embarrassing. So, you didn't hear that from me. She had gout, like big time gout. She was out. But she's better now. And bless her heart, she got it in her head a while ago that I'm crafty. And I don't mean like devious or anything, but like, well... I bejeweled a pocketbook, and she heard about it, and then she ever said, now, this was back in, like, 1997, and, and so, after that, every Christmas, she gives me stuff like this. These are my Christmas presents. She dropped them off today. She bought me these little, like, embroidery kits. It's a stamped cross-stitch. And this is something. She said, Lynette, I knew this was perfect for you because it's got pink in it. And it's a pink dress. It's a picture of a pink dress. And there's a mirror. And see, you can embroider that. And here you have a Victoria. It says Victoria Inn. And it's pink. And I know how much you like pink. So you could also do that. So I, th I thought that was cute. And he would like to have that. And so she brought it in. It was all wrapped in pink paper. had a pink bow on it. Well, no, it is sweet. I'm not saying it's not. But I don't have time to do this. I don't cross-stitch. I don't even know how. And then she gave me this. I can't even explain this. It's an old Reebok. Like a butt pack. It has little zippered compartments on it. You want it? I'll give it to you, honey. I have absolutely no use. You know what it is. Back when I was a kid, we went to, uh, it was Disney World. We went to Disney World when I was a kid, and she went with us. And, and Mama bought us all a little, a little butt pack like this. And I, I mentioned in front of her that I thought it was cool. And so maybe she thought I wanted another one, like to, if that one wore out or something. It's a Reebok butt pack. Honey, you can have it. I don't want it. I mean, you know, Aunt Betty is just one of these people that, according to my therapist, her love language is giving, and that's her way of showing love. So you don't want to refuse the gift or be unappreciative because that's like refusing their love. And the therapist said the best thing I can do is just take the thing and say, say thank you and then just dispose of it however I see fit. You want some cross-stitch stuff? Because, like... I don't. Now that I look at it, lol, look at that spaghetti. Look at all that. This one looks like somebody already started it. So, I mean, if you want it, you can have it. Do you want it? Well, if you don't want it, I'm going to 
take it to Goodwill or something. I don't know what to do with it. Why ain't Verlaine supposed to be in here when she gets off work? She's got to bring some stuff for the, uh, the charity auction that we're doing for the children's hospital. Yeah, well, yeah, I, like I say, I'm not really in charge of it, but I'm helping to kind of coordinate, like, get donations from local people, businesses for the thing. And so she, she said she had some good stuff to drop off for it, so that's really good. And it's been a good day so far. Um, there was a lady that owed me $20, and I'd forgotten all about it, and she brought it in here, and she brought me my $20. Yes, and so, well, that's great because Bath and Body Works is having their big sale on candles today. It's just today, and all their candles are really cheap, and with that $20, I could get at least two, maybe three candles. And see, I was going to let that be my little Christmas present to myself because I always like to give myself something for Christmas, you know? So maybe those candles can be my Christmas present to myself, and I don't even have to spend any, like, extra money. This is like found money, you know? So I could do that. So it's it's been a good day. It's things are great. Things are really good. And I'm not even faking it when I say it this time. You know, sometimes in life people ask you how you are and you have to kind of lie. I don't even have to lie. Like I'm actually good. So just leave them there and I'm gonna show you these colors. Now I decided to go with sparkles because when I saw on in the little notes online that when you scheduled your appointment that you had a a Christmas party to go to and I thought well she'll probably want to look a little sparkly for the festive occasion so one thing I have now this is like a top coat from Sally Hansen it's called online shop bling and it has this pink and purple like glitter in it now this looks really pretty over any color so we have that and from the Sally Hansen friends collection we have this one it's called pivot with an exclamation point and it's kind of an orange gold looking glitter now it's very sheer but again it looks really good over something over like another color and I have this green glitter and it's pretty opaque so you don't really need anything under it so we do have green we could do a combination we could do like red and green glitter now this one is from pure ice actually they're both pure ice red and green, green glitter you know what we could do? Hold on, let me show you. Um, oh, and I have this one here. This is Petal to the Metal from Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Now, any of those glitters would look really good over this. Like, you could do online shop bling over that. Or, believe it or not, this actually looks really pretty over it. It just makes it a little sparkly. The orange doesn't even really show. That's what I was thinking too. And then we'll do a, a glass shine quick dry top coat from Nail Laid over top of whatever we do. So, do you want to do like everything with the ring finger in red? Or do you want to do everything with the ring finger in green? I think that's going to look so cute, especially with that dress that you described that you have to show me. We're going to do everything with the ring fingers in red, and then we'll do this. On the ring fingers, so that's gonna look so cute. Oh my gosh. gosh! Well, let's move this stuff out of the way. Don't forget to take this with you. I want you to take it with you. You do whatever you want with it. I don't care because I was just gonna take it to Goodwill with the cross stitch stuff because I have no use for any of this stuff. I mean, it was sweet of her to give it to me. Um, and sometimes I kind of feel like I should say something, but she's like 82, and it's like, what's the point? Just let her, let her, let her be. It's sweet, but. And she keeps giving my kids footy pajamas. I know it's just like that movie, A Christmas Story. She's in her mind, they're still like two years old or something. I don't know what, to, I can't do anything with her. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do one coat of this red. I'm gonna do um, two coats of each, okay? So I'm gonna get your fingers here. I'm not gonna do the ring finger now. Don't let me, if I start to do it, you stop me. So Aunt Merlene, when I told her about, yeah, the fumes are kind of strong from this one. I'm sorry. I told Aunt Merlene about this charity auction, and she got all excited. She said, oh, that's wonderful. I've been creating again. I said, oh, God. You know how she gets when she starts creating. So, and she said, since she has all this extra money from working at the Shady Scrap, she can go to Joanne Fabrics and buy stuff even when it's not on sale. So she has all this extra crafting stuff, and she said, I have really been inspired 
to create so much. Here lately, I've created a lot of great stuff. Okay, now move over this. You just bring this hand right here. And I have just created the most beautiful stuff. I can't wait for the auction. So, uh, she's going to be dropping that stuff off with me. And then I'm going to go take it and drop it off at the location after work. And I have to get everything kind of set up. We have to write down. We have to have a detailed list of everything that was donated. Who donated it? Because we're going to make these little place cards that's going to go in front of everything. We're going to have these long tables with just like plain white tablecloths. And we're going to set everything up and we're going to do everything in categories. So like you can have, you know, uh, like kitchenware, uh, decorative stuff. We're going to have some Christmas stuff, um, like homemade ornaments. It doesn't have to be handmade. A lot of the stuff is, but not everything. Um, people have donated like coffee makers and small appliances like stuff that they might have had it can be gently used but it has to be very gently used we don't want you know a bunch of old stuff and all the money is going to the children's hospital so it's going to be really great they're setting up a fund to help families so it's a really good thing now while that dries let me go ahead and do your ring fingers in this green oh you're going to look like an ornament but in a good way. Yes. So. Oh wait, Berlin, come on, come on in. Do you need help carrying any of that stuff? Well, okay. Well, um, just bring it up. Bring it up here. Set it down. Um. Yeah. Just put the box right there. Yeah. No. 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 I want. I want to look at it. I want to look at it. Just a minute, though. Hold on. Don't bump her. Don't bump her. I'm trying to get her nails. Well, what do you think? Do you do you like the red and green? Isn't that cute? Well, it's not your nails, so it's a good thing that we didn't do it on you, isn't it? See, isn't it great how we all like different things? And it's a good thing that we don't all like the same things, because then the world would be boring, wouldn't it? Y yes. Uh, well, I'm going to try to make it there. Um, but, you know, y'all have that Bible study at a weird time, and it's kind of hard. I don't think it's the devil saying that. Aunt Berlene, I believe it's me. Um, it's hard for me because I work until 5. So when y'all have it at 5.15 on the other side of town, well, well I'm just saying, I'm going to make it if I can. And that's not the devil. That is like literally my schedule. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me see what you got. So all, the, all this is for the, the, the auction, the charity auction? Well, didn't you just donate a bunch of stuff? This is cute. Where'd you get this? Well, no, I wasn't saying that you bought it in a store. I know you don't buy stuff in stores. Yeah. You say you made this. Why does it have the name of a company on the back? I'm, I'm not... I don't, I don't think that judge not, lest you yourself be judged thing applies here. Look, that, I'm not trying... I'm not giving you the third degree in Verlaine. I was just curious because this looks like it came from Target. It's got the threshold thing in the Target logo on it. Well, I, let's not worry about it. You know what's funny about this? It says, let it snow. Remember that hat Mama had? She, my mama, she used to have this hat like a toboggan, you know, and it, and it, had, it had this on it. But the way the words were put together, it looked like it was saying, let it now. <laughs> I'm not being ugly, Merlene. That was funny. Remember she wore it to that Christmas parade and I kept laughing and I took a picture of it. <laughs> that was the fact back before things went viral, but everybody thought it was funny. <laughs> it's, it looked like it said La Tits now. <laughs> there, there is nothing vulgar about that. It Tell me it didn't look like La Tits now. It did. Well, whatever. Okay, so we we just have this one plate that you totally made and does not have a Target logo on the back. Okay, well, it's very pretty. Okay, so we got that. I'm confused. What is this? You made a melted snowman. That's kind of depressing, isn't it? No, he's cute, but he's just... 
I like how he can still kind of smile even though he's dying. Like literally, this is every adult I know. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? It's, I don't know, is it a bush? What is that supposed to be? Well, if you don't know, I certainly don't know. There's a stick sticking up here. Oh, no, it's fine. We'll put it with the Christmas decor. You know, maybe we'll get some bids on it. And we have... Oh, no, I see that. I, but it's, like, coming, coming apart a little bit. It's got this... Look at this. It just came off completely. Actually, it looks better without it. I don't understand... Oh, it's an ornament. What's, I see it used to be a kitchen sponge. Does it have germs? Not that you have germs, but it's, it's a kitchen sponge with velvet and fake pearls and rhinestones. I mean, it's lovely, but did this come out of your kitchen? Is this the do-it-yourself aspect of it right here? What are you supposed to do with it? You put it around, around the ornament. You know, this is a little tough love here, ain't Merlene, but just because you have a hot glue gun doesn't make you Martha Stewart. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that, you know, just because you have it doesn't mean... I did not mean anything by that. No, but I do appreciate... I do appreciate these items for the auction. I really do. It's really cute, and I will see if I can staple that on there or something. Yes, my staples are organic. They're even gluten-free. <laughs> Sorry. So what else have we got? We have another ornament here. Oh, isn't that cute? Look, it's a pearly little snowman here. He looks a little stone. I mean, look at his face. He's, he reminds me of Mr. Bill. You remember the Mr. Bill cartoons? Oh, no. He reminds me of that. No, no, he's cute. He has a little phallus on his face. <laughs> and, and, um, and an F. You, you gave one F. I gave, I gave an F. I have one F to give. Why? Oh, no, I think you colored it nicely. I like the colors, but why? Where did you find this on the side of the road? I mean, that reclaimed art. Okay, well, let me write that down. Reclaimed art. I will put that on the place card and we put it out for auction. You can you can get an F. You can get F'd at the auction. <laughs> I'm not being vulgar. Averlene, you ought to know by now. I'll make a joke about anything. I don't care. Well, I don't see Jesus down here wagging a finger at me. Put your finger away. Okay. Well, it's really pretty how you did it up with the swirls. I reckon. And I have a... This looks like something. Oh, it goes this way. So this looks like pages out of a dictionary. And it has a... It's a canvas. Okay. Oh, it is. Yeah. And it has a... What is that like a, what is that? Is that a honeybee? Is that supposed to be like a honeybee or a moth or something? Stuck on there like that. It's real. How do you mummify a moth? Leave it in a windowsill? Why, well, I reckon I'd do it. Okay, well what made you decide? I know what mixed medium is. I went to high school. So, okay, so this is old dictionary pages. Paper mache on here, and then a mummified moth. I don't even know what table to put that on, Aunt Berlina. I don't, decor, we just put it under decor. I reckon that's some decor, all right. And we also have a wish. We have a wish. I have some wishes right now. I'm going to keep them to myself, but we have... Did you paint this? Oh, isn't it cute? It's a shiny wish with a cord and some knots. It got knotted. Get knotted. Look at it. 
wish. We're going to make a wish. Say a prayer. Send it up to Jesus. No, she's in the she's in the back. She's in the back. I wouldn't go back there if I were you. She's a little crabby today. Yeah, inventory. I don't think she wants you going back there praying for her right now. Okay, but I warned you. Oh, I meant to show you too. I have I have some little gift sets here. If you're interested, I'm selling these. Now the regular price is $5.99. I'm selling these for $3. If you're interested, um, Jimmy went to Cookies Flea Market the other day and he bought a whole bunch of these. And I thought I would see if I could sell them here. They're from uh, Profusion and it's a nail duo. And look at these pretty colors. This one's glittery. It's kind of a dark blue. If you're interested, it's called Enchantful. Enchantful for these two colors. So, yeah, it's it's going to be like half price. You want to take this? Okay, that's wonderful. You know, when Aunt Betty was here earlier, you know what else she left me? I need to move this before, before Aunt Berlin comes back. You know what this right here is? This is an entire old Walmart bag full of wine corks. This is like 10 pounds of wine corks. She said, I know you're crafty. You could do a whole lot with those wine corks. Now, where do you reckon she got 10 pounds of wine corks? Look at this. Whole bag full of wine corks. And they're all different. Like different bottles of wine. Everything cork in here is different. Now what am I supposed to do? I'm going to make 10,000 coasters. I'm going to make a cork board. I have to make something with them. I don't want Berlin to see it long. She'll go to Bible study and start running her mouth. You know, she's so funny. She'll, she'll talk about somebody gossiping and how it's wrong to gossip. First thing she does is gossip. I can't stand to gossip talking about people. And then straighten up and acting so nice when they come back. And you know what else? You know what she's doing? She said she got a big fat bonus from the Shady Scrap. She said she had to run a midnight delivery. Now, I don't know what that means, but she said she had to run a midnight delivery. And they gave her a special bonus for doing it. Now, I'm not one to wonder about stuff, but she said the bonus was so big that she's taking that Praise Jesus 21-day cruise to Alaska next month. They're giving her three weeks off to go on that cruise. I, I asked her about that. I said, you know, there's gambling on those cruises. She said, no, there's not. And I said, yes, there is. There's going to be gambling. There's a casino on that ship. She said, uh-uh. I said, there's a casino on that ship. I can tell you that. I saw the whole thing about it on TV. And she said, well, there won't be any gambling if we're on there. We'll go sit in the middle of the floor and have a Bible study. I said, honey, they'll just step over you. They're going to be out there gambling. That's what they're out there to do. They're in those international waters. They're going to gamble their asses off. And then she got mad because I said, ass. And I said, well, you can you can do whatever you want to. They're going to keep on She's, it's like a singles cruise, and she said she's hoping to meet a man to keep her warm. She, you know, she, is she, uh, well, she's lonely. I mean, you know, she, she is. Now, let me see your nails. I'm going to do this second coat of red for you. Do you have any idea how much one of those cruises costs? Now, it's just her, and I think she gets like a senior discount or something. I think they're doing like a package tour, like a group rate. Because a couple other people from the Shady Scrap are also going. And I think there's something up. I don't think she's aware of it. But I believe they're up to something. And they're going to get out there and do something. That has something to do with whatever it is that goes on in that place. Not that I'm saying anything goes on there. But I'm a little suspicious about it. I mean, there seems to be a lot of money floating around in that business. But I'm sure it's totally legitimate and and, uh, and it's fine. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, but Jen, Jimmy's doing all right. Let me get you from ring fingers here. I got your green. 
Oh, she snapped at you. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. If only someone had warned you that she might. Well, she's probably not in the mood for that right now. Well, would you try to give her a metal bookmark for I'm sorry she threw it at you. It looks like you caught it pretty good with the side of your face. Are you all right? You need a Band-Aid. I have some. Okay. So, uh, you, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be heading over there after work. What? I don't get off till five. I mentioned that. So now I have to go over to set up stuff. And now that I have all of your good little donations here. Oh, this. Did you make this? What is it? Now, I can see it's a goose, but I mean, what is the purpose of this? Is this decor? Is it, what? what is this, Americana? It's just a goose. Okay, well, I have questions about it. Um, wasn't this stuff popular, like, back in the 90s? Like, early 90s? I mean, I don't know that people necessarily want this kind of stuff anymore. Well, not everything comes back around, fortunately. And I just don't think this has... You got your goose with the, the obligatory bonnet. You remember this stuff from the early 90s? I think everybody's mama had these things in her house back then. Everything mama had back in like 1990 had these dang geese on them. Little geese with the hats. Usually they were blue and white, you know. They have on like a blue bonnet. This one's breaking the mold a little bit. It's kind of a dusty rose color. I have a question though. How come this goose has googly eyes? Well, you are innovative, I'll give you that, but hey, Berlin, why does it have glasses? How do you take a goose to the eye doctor? No, that's not the start of a joke. This goose has glasses on. Is there a goose optometrist out there? I kind of want it myself. He's very cute. He's heavy, too. He's got a heavy butt, just like me. <laughs> his nose looks weird. It's his beak. That's what I meant, his bill. His bill <laughs> looks weird. <laughs> like a deflated banana. <laughs> I'm not making fun, Aunt Berlin. You know, I just have a zest for living. And I, I find joy in everything, even crazy looking geese. <laughs> Honey, I'll be happy to put all of this in there. That'll be no problem. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, oh, no, settle up. We don't have anything. What do you, settle up for what? Oh, honey, no, with the, I'm taking donations. See, it's a charity auction, and they're raising money for the fund for the children's hospital for the families. So it's all donated. So you don't want to donate this stuff. You want me to donate this stuff. Because I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Oh, you want me to pay you for this stuff? Well, Aunt Berlin, that's not quite the way it was supposed to go. And I'm sorry that you were under that impression, but I did not mean, I, I was not giving you that impression. That is what you assumed. I am not trying to buy stuff to take to the auction. I'm trying to find people to donate stuff. Oh, no, you can make a phone call. That's fine. That's fine. She thinks I'm gonna buy this. She thinks I'm gonna buy this stuff. Who is buying this stuff? Nobody's gonna bid on this stuff. I mean, I don't want to be the one to have to tell her this, but who wants this? Nobody is gonna want this stuff. Who's the, nobody? This is the stuff I'm gonna have to take to Goodwill after it's over because nobody's gonna. Or I have to bid on it myself so that it will at least sell. Even if it just sells for a dollar. Like I said, not everybody with a hot glue gun is Martha Stewart. They think they are. They're not. The Lord help you if they get a bedazzler. Because then they're unstoppable. She thinks I'm going to pay her for this stuff. She's crazy. Let me see your nails. 
I, I know, I know you got it. Got, you got to get ready for your hair appointment. She's going to be coming out in a minute to get you started. Okay, now we're going to do your top coat. I'm not paying her for this stuff. I'm not doing it. I mean, she's working at the Shady Scrap. She's going to take a three-week cruise. She's got extra money. I mean, she has no kids. She has no expenses, no pets, no nothing. She, what does she want me to pay her for this stuff? And she's, she's one of these people. She'll get these ideas and then make it sound like, well, you led me to believe. Like, no, I did not. You took some big old leaps and assumed some stuff. I didn't lead, I did not lead you to believe anything. You just took a big old leap and started believing whatever you wanted to. Now, look at how that top coat brings out the sparkle in that glitter. Oh, my. It really does. It adds a whole other, like, multiple dimensions to that glitter. It's so pretty. Oh, now that's going to dry really quick. So you just let that sit. I'm going to stick this in your purse along with this little butt pack. I'm going to make sure that you don't forget that. I know you're going right over here to get your hair done. I wonder who she's talking to on the phone. Look at it. Well, you can't look. She's pacing around back there. She's pacing around right out by the front. Who is she talking to? She's coming back. How How is your pastor? You talked to your pastor. How's, how's he doing? Oh, you were looking for guidance. Okay. Is, is your pastor the one that said that you should ask for money? Oh, okay. Well, if he didn't like how much you tithed, then with all due respect, I don't really see what that has to do with me, Averlene. I am not the one that told him you have a job at the Shady Scrap. I haven't told anybody you have a job at the Shady Scrap. Well, not really. Not so you'd notice. I have not talked to your pastor. I don't even know your pastor. Who's... Who said that? I have never snubbed anybody at Food Line. I don't even know what you're talking about. How can I snub a man I don't know? I have never seen you. I don't even know what your pastor looks like. I didn't snub him into Food Line. If I, if I don't even know him, how am I going to speak to him? Am I supposed to just know he's your pastor? Aunt Berlene, I do not understand you. I'm going to be totally honest. I do not understand you most of the time. Well, at least 39% of the time. I don't understand you. Are you all right? Well, look, no, just I want, I want, I want to take the stuff to the auction. Just would twenty dollars cover it? No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. You want twenty dollars? I got twenty dollars cash. Oh, well, you, you, you. Could... Just gonna go call him again. She can't, she needs to talk to him about that cruise and that job. See what Jesus thinks about those two things. I will never understand some people. No, it's fine. You know what? Don't worry about it. Look, you know what? Sometimes in life, you just have to cut your losses. I'll get candles another day. It's, it's fine. I'm going to give her my candle money. And that way, she'll just go on and I will have these things. I mean... Who wants to, who wants to, this is depressing. This is depressing. Who wants to look at this at Christmas? It's basically a dead snowman. It's a disembodied head in a puddle of his own body. I mean, ain't nobody gonna buy this stuff. What did he say? 20 will do. Here you go. There's $20 cash. Yes. Okay. Well, you, you, you go on and pray for me then. That's fine. That's fine. Enjoy your cruise. Yeah. Yeah, well, I heard all about that. I haven't said a word to anybody about it. Well, not really. Not so you notice. Okay. Well, you, you just come on then. Yeah, well, Merry Christmas to you too. Bye. Thank you for your donations. Just... Okay, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have had anything to donate otherwise, exactly. Thank you so much for saving me. <laughs> Bye.
she really thinks I can't do any better than this right here. Like I can't go out in a community and find something other than an old kitchen sponge with stuff coming off of it. I can do better than that. This is from Target. Little Miss, you know, snooty pants. Never, I do not shop at Target. I do not shop in retail stores like somebody did. Anyway, that's all right. That's all right. Are you going to be able to make it to the auction though? It's like a silent auction. You know, it's not like one where they're going to call out stuff. It's like you walk around and you write your name on, you know, with your bid and everything. Well, that would be fantastic. And listen, I want to see pictures of that dress, and I hope you, I hope you both have a wonderful time at your party. Now, don't worry about the candles. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad I had some money to give her to send her on her merry way. So, in a way, it was a, it kind of was a Christmas present to myself because it got her out of here, <laughs> at least for now. But I know you're getting ready to get your hair done. I just sit over there, kind of leave your nails like this for a little bit. Just you know, let them dry a little bit more. And I can't wait to see how your hair turns out. And I want to see pictures of that beautiful dress. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, it's always so much fun doing your nails. And you go on over there and I will see you again really soon.